from Studio 113 in Walson Hall, this is MBC News. Hello, and welcome to MBC News. I'm Katie Mitchell. And I'm Connor Neek. So Katie, finals are coming up. Yeah, you know, I'm preparing myself. I have a few essays to write, some, some tests to study for. Yeah. But you're coming to a close on your freshman year. How do you feel? It's pretty weird feeling. Went by really fast. I bet. Yeah. So you went by quick for me, too. <laughs> yeah. So what's in the news this week? Well, I will share it with you. The fifth annual Innovation Challenge takes place April 23rd, where 12 student teams of hopeful entrepreneurs will pitch original ideas to a panel of judges. The ideas include ways to solve current social and market problems. Winners will be given a monetary prize to help kick their ideas into gear. Muhlenberg College Theater and Dance presents the last main stage of the season, Mad Forest, written by Carol Churchill and directed by Beth Schachter, this upcoming weekend. This play is told through the eyes of those who experienced the 1989 Romanian Revolution. Check it out from April 24th to 26th in Baker Theater. Tickets can be purchased online or at the box office for $8 with your student ID. The Circus Workshop, another exciting event presented by Muhlenberg College Theater and Dance, performs April 25th at 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. in the Brown Dance Studio. This is an exciting student-run project full of dancers, actors, and aerialists. Don't miss out on this free event. The President's Diversity Strategic Planning Committee wants your feedback on the, pro on the proposed diversity initiatives. Stop by Seegers 111 and 112 today, April 23rd, to review these initiatives and help construct Berg's diversity plan. On Thursday, April 25th in Moyer Hall, the Psychology Department will be hosting Psychology Day. This event takes place at the end of each semester. It gives students the opportunity to present their findings from internships or research projects that they have been conducting throughout the semester. This is a great opportunity for students considering a major in psychology to get a feel for the types of classes required for the major. An inspiring 20-minute documentary about junior Patrick Malloy, a Muhlenberg College student who is blind, will be screened in the Red Door during Common Hour on Friday, April 25th. This documentary centers around Patrick's passion for golf and his success and work with the Mid-Atlantic Blind Golf Association. Halal Formal will take place on Thursday, April 24th from 9 to 11 p.m. All are welcome to attend this free event full of food, dancing, and friends. Head on down to Halal House in your cocktail attire for what is sure to be a fun evening. SIGEP and ATO will both be hosting open parties on Friday, April 25th. SIGEP has an all-white dress code and will be accepting donations towards the Wounded Warrior Project. ATO will be having a hoedown, so come in your best country attire. They will be accepting donations toward the Laura Mahoney Foundation. And finally, on Tuesday, April 29th, the Center for Ethics will be sponsoring a lecture entitled, What's Love Got to Do With It? Transnational Desires and Sex Tourism in the Dominican Republic. This lecture will be given by Denise Brennan, who is a part of the Anthropology Department at Georgetown University. It will take place at 7.30 p.m. in Miller Forum. Thanks, Katie. And now for sports. The Muhlenberg softball team clinched a playoff berth over the weekend when they swept and shut out Ursinus 2-0 and 9-0. Junior Alyssa Schell hit her 100th career hit in the contest to cap a three-hit day. The Muhlenberg baseball team had a rough week finishing 2-4, but were able to split a doubleheader against nationally ranked Gettysburg and remain in second place in the Centennial Conference. Freshman Troy Elias earned the win in the opener and only allowed two runs in six innings during his first career start. Women's lacrosse dominated Bryn Mawr 21-1 on senior day. Junior Stephanie Umbach led the scoring with five goals and three assists to break the school record for goals in a season as well as points in a season. The game featured many goal scorers, 15 in total. However, they suffered a tough loss to Swarthmore in double overtime earlier in the week. Women's golf finished in second place in their home tournament. Muhlenberg top scorers, freshman Emily Unro, senior Christine Lang, junior Laura Golagovsky, and junior Christine Bride all finished within six strokes of each other in the tournament. And that's all for sports this week. Now over to Kevin with the weather. Thanks, guys. Well, this week in the weather, Thursday, it's going to be sunny. Yay! The high is 60, low of 37. 
0% chance of rain, but come Friday, we've got showers. Isn't that exciting? The high is 64, low of 46, chance of rain at 40%. Come Saturday, we've got a partly cloudy day with a high of 65, low of 40, 20% chance of rain. Sunday, gonna be a bit sunnier, which is gonna be nice. High is 63, low 38, no chance of rain. So, yay for the weekend. Coming into next week, rain, rain, go away. Because on Monday, it's going to be rain. Tuesday, it's going to be rain. And Wednesday, it's going to be more rain. So on Monday, we've got, like I said, rain. High of 62, low of 39, and a 40% chance of rain. Isn't that fantastic? Come Tuesday, more rain. High of 52, low of 45, and a 60% chance of rain. And come Wednesday... Why won't the rain just go away? High of 52, low of 45, and a 40% chance of rain. <sighs> Back to you guys. Thanks, Kevin. That's all for this week's NBC. I'm Connor Neek. And I'm Katie Mitchell. Hope you tune in next week, Muhlenberg.